Hi. Today I'm going to try to show you how to play something like 25 chords just by moving one finger at a time. One of the best kept secrets about guitar is that if you change one note in the chord, the chord name changes, so you get a new chord. So what we're going to do today is start with a very easy chord and then move from one chord to another by simply moving one finger. We're going to either take a finger away or put a finger in to get the next chord in the, on the list. Okay? So if you're ready to get started, let's make sure the guitar is in tune. The guitar is tuned E, A, D, G, B, E. Standard tuning. If you don't know how to tune your guitar, just uh, ask a friend uh, who plays guitar to tune it for you. You can stop at any music store. They'll be glad to tune it up for you to get you going. Uh, but it's, it must be in tune for this to work. It must be in standard tuning. Okay? Now I'm going to be calling out the notes also of the string. I won't be calling out notes, but I will be calling out which string I'm on. This is the E string. This is the A string, D string, G string, B string, and the string, high string down on the bottom is E. So that's E, A, D, G, B, E. It's a good idea to get very familiar with the string names so you'll know which string uh, to go to when I call that string out. So if you haven't done that already, work on that a little bit and come back to this video. Well, but if you're ready, now we're going to start by moving uh, in with a E minor 7 chord. And we're going to make that chord by taking finger 2. Now, our fingers are going to be numbered like this. 1, 2, 3, and 4. So this is finger 2. Okay, that's finger 2. Finger 2 is going to go to the A string, 2nd fret. A string, 2nd fret. That's an E minor 7. Nice sounding chord. Minor 7. E minor 7. Now I'm using a pick, and you don't have to use a pick. You can just strum with the back of your hand. Okay? Uh, you, you, or you can just, with your thumb, just slightly. You know, don't want to get any calluses. Just strum very lightly if you're not using a pick. But if you're using a pick, you'll be able to hear this just fine. Okay, so E minor 7. That's one finger on the fretboard. Now we're going to take the second finger and add it and put it just under the first finger and now we have straight E minor. That's E minor 7 with one finger. E minor with two fingers on the fretboard. Now the next chord We've got our two fingers on the fretboard at the second fret. We're going to take the finger one and put it on the G string, which is right here. That's the fourth string down from the top. And we're going to get an E major chord. Okay, that's E major. E major. You're going to find that chord, uh, find that that chord comes in very handy. Okay, now. We're going to attempt to do a new chord by simply removing a finger. We're going to take finger 3 out and we're going to get an E7 chord. See we had, when we had that E we had these three in. We're going to remove that finger. So now I've got one finger on the A string at the second fret, one finger on the G string on the first fret. Seven. That's used in blues a lot. Okay, that's an E7 chord. Now, we're going to backtrack, okay? We're going to remove the first finger and go back to the E minor. Seven. That's the E minor seven. Going back to the E minor seven. Now we're going to put this finger back in to get our E minor, straight E minor, 
Okay. See, so we're back where we started with two fingers on the fretboard and with the E minor chord. Now I want you to take the third finger right here and move it down by one string. You see? So now what we have, we have one finger on the second fret on the A string and one finger on the second fret on the G string and we have an E7 suspended 4. Long name. Easy chord to make though. That's an E7 suspended 4. Okay. You see that? Okay. The next chord, we're simply going to take this finger and go down by one string. Go down to the B string. Now we have an E minor 6. E minor 6 chord. Okay, you've still got the same two fingers on the fretboard. We're going to go down one more string to the bottom string, each high E string, and now we have an E minor 9 chord. E minor 9. So we're getting some cool chords out of this. Now we start back up at the E minor 7 like this and strum. Then move down. We get a nice chord progression. So that was E minor 7. E7 suspended 4. E minor 6. Minor nine. Okay, now take a rest, take your fingers off the fretboard, and what we're going to do now is take these two fingers, right here, the two middle fingers, fingers two and finger three, and we're going to place them on the D and the G string, right here in the middle of the fretboard, right there, okay? Now, on the second fret, it's in both the middle strings, and that is an A suspended two chord. A suspended two. I've got my second finger on the D string and my third finger on the G string. Okay. Now, my next new chord I'm going to make by taking this finger and moving it up to this third fret. See now it's down here. I'm going to move that finger up to the third fret and I'm going to get a C major 7. That's a beautiful chord right there. Right there. Used quite a bit. Now, from this C major 7, we're going to move to one of the chords that's used all the time as a textbook chord, a C. We'll take your finger that's hanging out there and put it on the B string on the first fret. That is now a textbook C chord. Pinky's not being used, okay? It's pinky just hanging out there. Now we're going to use the pinky to create a new chord. We're going to go to the third fret, put the pinky right here, and get a C add 9. the fingers where they are on the C chord, add that finger to get a C add 9. Now, we're, we're going to change this chord, so I want you to be careful with this one. We're going to move to a C7 chord, simply by taking this finger and moving it up by one string, moving it to the G string. That's a C7. Now, it was on the B string for the C add 9. But for the C7, it has to be on the string. Okay, we're still holding out all our other strings. 